Hi, my name is Juan Duarte, and in this video, I'm going to go ahead and um, demonstrate and talk about how to um, perform a vein puncture on a patient. Now, uh, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about each step, um, show you the materials needed to perform a vein puncture, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, perform a vein puncture on the patient. Um, not speaking or anything like that, I'm just going to show you how to do it. So, um, before you start the procedure, it is very important that you check the provider's orders, gather the appropriate tubes, sanitize your hands, uh, verify your patient, and gather your equipment needed. Uh, the equipment needed are a patient health record form to verify your patient. Uh, make sure that you are you have verified the provider's orders. Gloves, uh, a BD black and blood collection needle, uh, tubes, alcohol wipes, gauze, a tourniquet, band-aid, a permanent marker uh, to label the tubes, a biohazard bag with a requisition form, tubes, a biohazard trash can, and sharp container. Uh, after done sanitizing your hands, I'm going to go ahead and show you first the materials. So you have yourself a, um, a sharpie, so you can go ahead and label the tubes, sharp container, a biohazard trash container, sorry. A biohazard um, waste can. We got a uh, gloves, which I have on already. Tourniquets. A uh, biohazard bag to place your tubes in to send to the lab right after you're done with the mini puncture. You got your gauze, alcohol wipes. You have your um, BD blood collection tubes. You have your uh, band aid, your gloves, and your tube. So, after you're done sanitizing your hands, uh, have assembled your equipment uh, and verify your patients and verify your physician orders. You then put on your gloves, which I have on. Uh, then you need to select the vein, which we are going to use the tourniquets to do that. Um, and you're gonna tie the tourniquets on the patients, uh, not too tight, um, and place the tourniquet on her upper arm, tying it above three to four inches above the selected puncture site. Um, and you cannot leave it on for more than one minute. Uh, we are using um, and the anti cubital space uh, to palpate the vein for the vein. And in this case, I'm going to use her medium vein to puncture. So I then unite, um, untie the tourniquet and then prepare the patient's skin by using an alcohol wipe by wiping the site in a concentric circle taking the bacteria from the center and working our way out. So from small circles to out. Um, and you let it air dry right after that. Uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my needle. I, I have my tube, so I'm gonna go ahead and place them in order. Um, or draw, so once I'm done with one tube, I will go ahead and just have it ready. Have the other two ready and just get it and put it right in the needle. Uh, once the skin is ready, I'm going to re retie the tourniquet on her arm uh, with the bunny ears facing upwards. Um, I am going to then move the safety mechanism out of the way of the needle, holding the hub with my pointy finger, middle finger, and thumb. I'm um, thumb, sorry. Um, and then going in at a medium speed and inserting my tube, um, the needle in at 15 degrees. You will know that you are in the vein as blood will begin to fill the tube while switching. And while switching the tubes, you're using a counter pressure action so you don't move the needle. Um, once done with the last, um, with using the last tube, we're going to remove the tube, get your gauze, uh, untie the tourniquet, pull out having the patient apply pressure on the gauze where the puncture site is, uh, apply the safety pin on the needle and put the syringe in, in the sharp container. Remember, you never want to cross over. You would then invert our tubes eight to 10 times uh, you will label the tubes with the with the patient's name, date of birth, um, the date collected, and time. Some officers have pre-printed that um, have pre-printed labels so you can place on the tubes, but some don't. Uh, once done, you verify that the patient does not have any excess bleeding. Apply a band-aid uh, and place the tubes in a biohazard transport bag, and then send them off to the lab. And that's how you perform vein puncture. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that on the patient. So I put on my mask. It's over there, okay. Okay, 
like so. Here. Then my bag here. Leave right after. Have my tubes. Have my wrench. Have my um, gauze alcohol wipe. Now I'm gonna have the patient taser on here. I have a tourniquet with me, so I'm gonna pretend that I'm gonna tie it in my arm. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and verify the patient first. Um, can you please go ahead and verify me? Um, verify uh, your, your name and date of birth. February 3rd, 1999. Okay. Again, at this point, I've already gone ahead and washed my hands. I'm all gloved up. So, I'm going to go ahead again. So, I want to go ahead and look at the vein for the puncture site. So, I'm going to go ahead, turn the kit, tie it, put it four inches above her arm, palpate to look for the vein. I find it. Okay, cool. Now, I take it off. I get my alcohol wipe. Wipe the area. This monster with the larva to get rid of the bacteria. Afterwards, I let it air dry. Get my syringe ready. Uh, take the safety pin off. Um, I get my tubes. Okay. So I will go ahead and apply the tourniquets. Once it's done air drying, and I will go in with my middle finger, point the finger and thumb. Afterwards, I'm gonna go ahead and begin going in on her vein in a 15 degree angle. It's two. I see. I know that I I will already know that I'm in the vein once the blood has gone in the tube. Take the first tube out. In. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and take the tube off. Untie tourniquet. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get the gauze. Have her put pressure on the gauze. Take the needle out. Put the safety pin in. Place the syringe in the biohazard um, sharp container. I'm gonna go ahead and get each tube and. It is eight times. Once I'm done doing this, I'm going to go ahead and label each one with the name, date of birth, the time, and date collected. Put it in. I'll have the bag. Okay. I will then go ahead and see if she has any excess bleeding. She does not. A little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and place the tape on her. In case. And I will go ahead afterwards transport the bag to the lab. And that is how you perform any function on the patient. Thank you.